cigar box manipulation was developed by that late, great vaudevillian, W.C. Fields. Amy will demonstrate. Bend your knees. Drop the center box. Trap it between the two end boxes with a quarter turn or with a half turn. You can do that on both sides. Then drop and re-grasp. You can twist both at the same time. Alternate the sides. Flip, reach down through, reach down through. Or reach down, but pull it over the top. Drop, catch, drop, don't throw. Now we'll do it again in slow motion. Your back and knees do most of the work. Twist a quarter turn, drop at the top, catch at the bottom. After you can do a quarter turn, try a half turn. First one hand and then the other. Then you can let go and re-grasp the box on the top. Let go and re-grasp. Now twist both hands and let go and re-grasp. Twist both hands, let go and re-grasp. Twist both and back again. First one end, then the other. That's an alternate pattern. Now you can reach down through and pull the box straight down. But first, a fancy flip. Down through and trap. Down through and trap. And the other side. Remember, work both sides equally. See how she bends her back and uses her legs? You can go down through or you can go up over. Trap the center box. Pull down and trap. Pull down and trap. You can even cross your hands and pull down on both sides. Cross under and trap the center box for a big finish. Now Amy will show you how to manipulate cigar boxes to music with a little help from one.
devil stick is manipulated with two... Cigar box manipulation was developed by that late, great vaudevillian, W.C. Fields. Amy will demonstrate. Bend your knees. Drop the center box. Trap it between the two end boxes with a quarter turn or with a half turn. You can do that on both sides. Then drop and re-grasp. You can twist both at the same time. Alternate the sides. Flip, reach down through, reach down through. Or reach down, but pull it over the top. Drop, catch, drop, don't throw. Now we'll do it again in slow motion. Your back and knees do most of the work. Twist a quarter turn. Drop at the top. Catch at the bottom. After you can do a quarter turn, try a half turn. First one hand, and then the other. Then you can let go and re-grasp the box on the top. Let go and re-grasp. Now twist both hands and let go and re-grasp. Twist both hands, let go and re-grasp. Twist both and back again. First one end, then the other. That's an alternate pattern. Now you can reach down through and pull the box straight down. But first, a fancy flip. Down through and trap, down through and trap, and the other side. Remember, work both sides equally. See how she bends her back and uses her legs? You can go down through or you can go up over. Trap the center box. Pull down and trap, pull down and trap. You can even cross your hands and pull down on both sides. Cross under and trap the center box for a big finish. Now Amy will show you how to manipulate cigar boxes to music with a little help from one.
the Diabolo is like a top that can leave the string. To start it, pull it across the floor with your dominant hand. Let your subordinate hand take up the slack. The more you pull, the louder it sounds. The louder it sounds, the more tricks you can do. Once it really starts to whistle, you can start to do tricks. For instance, you can pass it to a partner. Simply stretch out your string and put it over theirs. Then drop your Diablo onto their string and step away. To accelerate it even faster, you can whip it back and forth. Your right hand stick crosses under your left. Once it's going fast, you can start to do tricks. Loop the string around the center of the Diablo and pull. It'll climb the string. Now make it go faster and faster. Touch the wheel to make it face the audience. You can balance your Diablo on the hand sticks and then drop it back onto the string. Whip it to make it go faster. Once it's going really fast, you can start to do tricks, such as throwing the Diablo in the air. Simply spread the hand sticks apart. Then reach up, point one hand stick up toward the Diablo, and catch it. Just pull the hand sticks apart, and then point up. Remember, when you throw your Diablo up in the air, you've got to watch out for it coming down. Now you can accelerate the Diablo and do some yo-yo tricks, like around the world. Get it going even faster. And do around the world in two directions. You can spin it in towards yourself, but make sure that the string is short enough so it won't hit you in the nose. Now toss the Diablo over your foot by stepping on the string. Touch it to face the audience. By making a cat's cradle, you can catch the Diablo in the center, throw, and catch again. We'll do that one again for you. And once more, this time in slow motion, build your cat's cradle, swing the Diablo around, throw it, catch it, and throw it again. Hat manipulation is another art developed by W.C. Fields. Here we see Rich, a master, if there ever was one.
The takeaway, or stealing, is the simplest form of interactive juggling. Simply face your partner, then substitute your hands for theirs. Reach up high. You can catch with your palms up or with your palms down. Substitute your hands and wait. The third one will go right up the middle. Right, left, and up the middle. You can do the same thing from the side. Take the close one, then the far one, and then wait for the third one to go up the middle. Reach rudely across. To do a runaround, all you have to do is go around behind your partner, take the bean bags from them, and then they do the same. We'll do it again in slow motion. Catch the near one, catch the far one, but wait for number three to go up the middle. Catch the near one, catch the far one, and up goes number three. The bean bags don't move from side to side. You do. And when you run around in a circle, the bean bags just stay in one place and keep juggling. You just change jugglers, that's all. First one, and then the other. Get the near one, then the far one. The third one goes up the middle. Here it goes. Now John and Robert will show you what three balls, a hat, and a little imagination can do to make a juggling routine. To pass with a partner, remember, everything goes from your right hand to your partner's left, and vice versa. Raise your hands and begin. We start with every third beanbag, in this case the yellow one, then every second beanbag, and finally every beanbag that leaves the right hand goes across to your partner's left. Now we'll do it all again, this time in slow motion. Every third beanbag goes across. In this case, the yellow ones. Just keep juggling. Every time the yellow beanbag comes to your right hand, throw to your partner. Now, every second beanbag. In this case, it's the red, then the blue, and now the yellow. And now every beanbag that comes to the right hand goes across to your partner you're simply substituting your beanbag for theirs. This pattern is called 3-3-10. That means three times every third, three times every other, and ten times every beanbag. John and Robert will show you a few tricks you can do once you have your passing under control. <laughs> 